One very interesting experiment was done which demonstrates latent learning in rats. What does this mean? Um, it means that rats were shown to be learning in the absence of explicit rewards. And this is important because one of the key assumptions of behaviorism is that all learning is done through conditioning and conditioning is done through pairing of um, stimuli and uh, rewards or punishments. So in this experiment, rats were placed in a maze. So each individual rat was placed in the maze uh, once per day. There were obviously many rats and they were divided up into three groups, but all of them uh, had to navigate this maze. What we can see here is that it's quite a complicated maze. There are uh, blind uh, tunnels, so tunnels that don't lead anywhere. There are also doors. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Maybe they were kind of hinged doors that the rats had to, to go past. But there were also curtains. And I think the curtains were important because that obscures what is behind the curtain from the rat. And so that makes this maze quite difficult. The rat can't just look one way or another and avoid going down um, an empty um, tunnel because they can't see what's behind the, the curtain. So one of the important things that was measured in this study was the number of errors uh, that was made until they reached the food box. So errors were counted as um, number of uh, wrong turnings into uh, blind tunnels. So not 100% sure exactly what that means, but it's very clear to say that if the rat took all the right turnings, went directly to the food box, then that would obviously count as zero errors. Okay, so what happened um, in this experiment? So the results are shown in this graph. On the x-axis, we have the number of days. Uh, so like I say, each rat went into the maze on each day. And they did that continuously for 21, 22 days. And on the y-axis, this represents the average errors made by each um, group. And so we've got three curves on the graph and there are three separate groups. So if we look at the top one, um, this was the, the no food reward group. What we can see is that they started off um, on day one making approximately 30 errors until they reached the uh, food area. This group, there was no food present and the rats were presumably just removed when they uh, reached the, the end of the maze. So we can see that there were uh, fewer errors, but this is taken basically as a control group that not really much learning was going on here. Maybe they got a little bit faster to get to a point where they were lifted out by the experimenter. Maybe they liked that. But essentially, the no food reward group didn't really learn very much. So far, this is pretty consistent with um, predictions of behaviorism. But let's look at this second curve, which I've labeled as the regular reward group. So these rats would navigate you know, the same maze. Um, they would get to the food box and at the end of it, there would, there would be food there. So this makes sense, um, this curve makes sense, because at the beginning the rats don't really know where to go, they're just exploring the maze, and uh, eventually on each day they find the food reward, and this is your, you know, behavioralist uh, reward. And so, as you can imagine, each day the rats come back, on average they're making fewer and fewer um, wrong turnings, fewer errors. So that's good. That's also consistent with the behavioralist idea, I guess. 
Um, but the real killer part about this experiment was the third group, this experimental group. And what happened was they were treated um, just like the no food reward group up until day 11. So they navigate the maze. Um, there's no food at the end of it. And the number of errors is exactly consistent with the the no food reward group. There's no there's no difference between them. On day 11, however, food was placed at the end of the tunnel. So a rat would find this and that would obviously be a good thing. But what happens the next day they go back? Do they make roughly the same number of errors? Um, well, what we can see is that the number of errors drops pretty drastically day after day. So what we can say is that these rats are learning even faster than the rats who had had the regular reward. So what does this mean? How can we interpret this? This was taken as evidence against uh, behaviorism because the idea is that this third group were walking around and they were learning the maze. There was no particular goal because there was no food at the end, but they were learning their way around the maze. But on day 11, as soon as they figured out that, aha, food is in um, this food area here, then they were able um, to use what they had learned from the maze to become really efficient at going straight towards the food. So this is um, interesting and it runs counter to some of the, well, one of the core ideas and assumptions about behaviorism, namely that no learning, no conditioning can take place without um, reward or without punishment. This result seems to very clearly run counter to that prediction. So the figures that I've shown here are from the original paper, but the reference that I've placed at the bottom um, is the one that I'd recommend if you are going to have a quick look at it, I'd recommend going and looking at uh, Tolman 1948.